channel as you read by the title of this video it is going to be a hair review from uh, my favorite hair company and it's wow African I've been wanting to um, upload this video for you guys for the longest well I've been wanting to uh, review this uh, wig for the longest and upload it for you guys because I had it for quite some time I guess I was just kind of like scared if I wasn't going to be like feeling this blonde or not but I absolutely like love the wig like it is like super gorgeous so I'm going to start off with a description of the wig and this is how the wig actually looks straight from the box um initially when I got this wig I didn't think that it was um like see the roots of the wig is like brown like number two like all the way brown and I thought it was gonna be like 1B or you know brown black kind of color like that matches my natural hair color so I was like hesitant when I got it I was just like um do I want to send it back at it like from the picture it looked as if it was like the roots were like my natural hair color but um it's actually not so I decided to still keep the wig. I mean, the hair is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love the length of it, the texture of the hair. Like, it's, um, I love, like, the pattern, like, the curl pattern. Like, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I just wish that it was my natural hair color uh, from the roots. Okay, so this is how the wig looks on the inside. It has three combs, one on the side, one in the middle, one on this side, and then one on the very bottom in the back, and it has the adjustable strap right here, so you can uh, adjust it to the, you know, how you want it to fit your head. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna co-wash the wig, um, like I did in my previous video, I co-washed it, and then I showed you guys how it looked after I co-washed it. So I'm gonna co-wash this wig, and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks after it's co-washed, and I'll be right back. So I'll co-wash the wig, as you can see it's still like damped or whatever, and I cut like the lace around the perimeter. I actually kind of like it, like it looks good. I just want it, like you probably can't see on camera that good that um, it's brown, like the roots are brown instead of black. I think you can see that, um, I have a wig cap on. But, um, so I personally feel like if you're going to go for like a dramatic wig color, um, make sure that your roots, uh, matches your natural hair color because I personally feel like it'll make the wig look, um, way more natural. But I mean, it doesn't look bad. I, I like it. It's, it's just something, you know, different that I usually wouldn't go for. But I can still like make it work and make it look, you know cute but yeah so what I'm gonna do now I don't think I want to pluck this wig I don't think I want to pluck it um, because I think it looks I'll probably pluck it when it's like on and like my head and like really ready to go but I don't think I want to pluck it what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put this wig on and then I'll show you guys how it looks when it's like on like all the way on my head I don't know if I'm gonna use like lace tape or just like my got to be glued but like yeah this is how the wig looks and this is like 12 inches or whatever and I think it looks really really good so yeah so what I'm gonna do now is like put it like uh, put the wig like fully on and then I'll be back to show you guys how it looks after that so I'll be right back Okay guys, so the wig is on my head. I um, 
didn't pluck it or anything like I said what I did was use um, some lace tape just up here just to lay the top down and then I use my got to be my got to be glue um, gel and uh, freezing spray on like my edges to lay it down and then I uh, blow dried it and then I put a little scarf on it to hold it down and whatever like that and I did my makeup so I can you know be cute for the camera or whatever like that so um, this wig I absolutely love the wig at first I didn't think that I can pull um, this color off just because it is a, a very you know it's it's really really out there but um, I think I can um, pull it off like I'm excited this is something that I usually wouldn't go for but um, I'm feeling it so what I'm gonna do is give you guys a description of the wig that I actually have um, and it locked me out so hold on the wig that I'm wearing right now it is the uh, Sierra ombre Brazilian hair lace wig the length is 12 inches and it falls the wig falls to about uh, the top of my breast and it hangs down to about you know it don't hang down that long yeah it, it actually looks longer uh, than 12 inches to me but um, I'm not that short or anything it just I don't know it just feels a little longer than 12 inches maybe not I don't know but anyway yes this hair is 12 inches the color is 4 16 and wait I'm sorry the color is 4 14 and 6 13 is the same as the image I'm probably most likely gonna have the image of the actual wig um, on my thumbnail so look out for that the cap size is small medium the cap construction is cap 7 glueless lace front wig and the lace color that I have is medium brown kind of like my skin color and I did request for baby hairs uh, for this wig so the wig did not come with baby hairs and if you want a wig uh, to have baby hairs it's an extra four days for them to process the wig and I actually like cut uh, a little bit more off the edges to like get the desired look that I actually wanted and this wig was um, the price for this wig was two hundred and nine dollars and I absolutely love this wig the only thing that I did to this wig was um, co-washed it I co-washed it with some um, I use this to co-wash my wig um, I actually want to show you guys the box or whatever as soon as you get your um, wig in the mail it's gonna come packaged in a box like this every wig that I received from them was packaged in this same box um, my wig actually came in a bag like this and it actually had a net it came in a net I don't know what I did with the net but um, yeah it came in a bag like this and it was wrapped up in a net and it actually came with um, a wig cap well two comes in the package and I have the one on my head right now but it came with uh, a wig cap and it came with um, instructions on how to actually um, tips for like maintaining your hair and washing it and, and stuff like that tips for curly hair if you got a curly wig and tips for like co-washing it and blow drying it and stuff like this and it actually comes with like a little uh, return uh, or return or exchange little thing um, if you cut your wig or if you cut any like of the lace you will not be able to return or exchange the wig so heads up for that and this is how my wig was packaged now I, I absolutely love the wig I just put it on like I said um, the wig is like really really cute um, I don't know what I'm actually gonna do like to style it I think I'm gonna keep it down I will do an update um, hair review on the wig um, maybe like in the, the next few weeks so I'll get a close-up on the wig and how like my edges actually look um, like I said I use like lace tape to lay down the top area and then I use my got to be glued uh, gel and uh, freezing uh, spray on the edges on both 
sides and it looks like this and I just did like my baby hair and blow dry it and to make it look as natural as possible. I felt like I could have cut more of the lace off because it does look a little bit, I wasn't thinking, I just cut, I was just cutting the lace and just put it on my head. Um, I could have cut more. So when it's time to take this off, I'll probably cut a little bit more lace like up here so it won't, won't look so weird. It's not touching my edges or anything, like the lace tape is like on my my, fo my forehead. As I noticed from use, I don't know, like I broke out, uh, not too long ago when I uh, had a lace wig on and I had like lace tape like around like my whole perimeter and I use like the got to be glue and gel and I like like it was you know like when you wear wigs and you got you know you lay it down or whatever like every now and again it's gonna itch and get irritable so I was like scratching it with the wig on and it felt like it was like hurting or something under there. Uh, I don't know if it was the lace tape that caused me to broke out or if it was the got to be glue gel or, or spray that broke me out. But when I took, shit, when I took my wig off, it was, uh, god damn. So yeah, when I actually like took the wig off, it was like, I was like broken out like all around like my forehead and shit. So I just put this wig on, I was like, staying away from the wigs for a while because I didn't you know I wanted my skin to like clear up and you know get back to his like normal self it still has like the marks and stuff on it but all right guys well that is it for this hair review I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video I'm really feeling this wig like I think uh I think I can pull it off I think I think I can do blonde okay I think I could you know what I'm saying I, I'm I'm feeling pretty nice about this but anyway, yes, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah, so I really want to know if blondes really do have more fun because, you know, 